So now I've done the takedown of my protective star, I'm going to be showing you my protective star aftercare using my favourite old school product. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11. So as you can see guys, I've done the takedown of my protective star, which I didn't do on camera, but I'm going to be showing you my aftercare routine of my protective star. And obviously I will be using my fave old school product. If you know me and you watch my videos, you know that it is Dax, my favorite old school product. But before I go on to that, I'm just gonna show you this hair guys. So my hair's been in a protective style now. This will be two months in total. So I've just taken it out of a month long protective style and this is the second month of protective styling. Oh, it's getting there. Let me just show you the growth. Just gone past armpit length. It's getting there, it's growing, it's getting there. So I am gonna be putting it back in a protective style as my aftercare, but not cane rose, guys. I wanna give my hair a bit of a break from cane rose and I'm just gonna show you what I do, so stay tuned. So from just washing my hair, my curls have popped back nicely, but I am getting the shed in. This is the shed hair that would have come out of my hair during that month if I had my hair out loose, i.e. in a wash and go or the bun. So I've rinsed my hair with water just to get rid of any build up and it was a lot of build up. To be honest, this is the best I've seen my hair in a long time. The curls seem very uniform and this is just from having my hair in a protective stuff. Usually I get a lot of frizzing in this area. So now I'm just gonna shampoo my hair, obviously to cleanse it. And I'm not using any fancy shampoo. And if you know me, you know I like to detangle my hair with the shampoo in it. I'm not gonna actually rake my fingers through it, I'm just gonna separate at the roots. As I said guys, it's been in a protective style for a month, so what I'm going to do is I'm just showing you how I lava up my hair and how I detangle it on camera. But what I am actually going to do, I'm going to re-shampoo my hair after I shampoo this out, just to make sure my hair is extra clean, because that is a month's worth of build up. <laughs> and then after that guys, I will be using Curly Chic Rice Water Remedy and it's a strengthening conditioner. Now, having rice water on my hair by itself, just as rice water doesn't feel very nice on my hair and it tends to make my hair snap. So, I've tried this conditioner, so this is gonna be the closest I get to rice water, and it works. So I'm gonna put that in my hair just to strengthen it, and then I'm gonna put in my leave-in, it's time for the Dax. <laughs> All right guys, so I will see you in a minute. So I've washed my hair twice, so now it's time for the conditioner. And as I said, I'm using the rice water remedy conditioner. Now it's got a pump bottle. Definitely smells like rice water. I am very heavy handed guys with my products, especially if I've not been able to put products on my hair like this for a while. The adequate amount of moisture for the last month or so i think i'm gonna let it sit in for 10 minutes and i will be back when my hair is rinsed out and then we'll move on to the next step whilst i've got the conditioner in my hair i think the best thing to do is detangle it with a wide tooth comb because i haven't combed my hair for the last month so i'm going to just do that now just to make sure there's any tangles out and i can feel like a tangle here so i'm not going to drag it i'm just going to work on that area
Okay guys, so I think you get a drift. I'm gonna go ahead and tangle the rest off camera and I'll come back to you when it's time to style my hair. So my hair's washed and thoroughly detangled. First part of my wash day routine after a protective style. And now I'm gonna be showing you a post protective style style. So as I said guys, I'm gonna be putting my hair back into another protective style, but what we're gonna need and what is key for your protective style is moisture. All right, so what I'm going to be using as my leave-in my Garnier hair food, banana one, not only because I love the smell and it just smells like it tastes so yummy, but also because it's for dry hair and it's free in one mask and it just does all the bizzo. So my hair is looking very healthy, very curly, got nice shrinkage. Usually when I'm about to do the style that I'm gonna show you now, I tend to blow dry my hair so I can do it on stretched hair, but I don't wanna put any heat on my hair. I want to keep my hair at its lowest manipulation points. So obviously, I've just manipulated my hair a lot through the detangling and the washing and what have you. I'm going to skip the blow drying part and then I'm just going to plait my hair. Let me just put in my, my leave-in conditioner. It mixes nicely with the Dax, but when I'm plaiting my hair, a lot of it does tend to come out and it seems like it's a bit too much product. I'm gonna have two plaits at the back, three at the front. So you just want to part behind your ears and then make sure you've got a nice straight party. Well, it doesn't have to be super straight, just the party down the middle at the back. For some reason, my hair is holding onto that moisture, guys. If you can see that by now, my hair would be super dry. I do think it's the way I cared for my hair when my hair was in a protective style. If you do want to see that, we'll leave the link in the description box and I will also leave, you can click this card now. So what I'm going to do now is apply the hair grease. I'm going to apply it down the middle. because this is the method I stuck to when my hair was in a protective style. I greased my scalp and as I said in the video, I mentioned how often I greased my scalp and moisturized my hair. And I don't mean moisturize with hair grease, guys. I moisturized it with a specific product, which you can see in the video. And I'm just gonna seal in all that juicy moisture. So I took a lot longer than I thought I would with detangling, not because my hair was so tangled guys, but because this is the aftercare of protective style. So obviously I want to care for my hair and I don't want to undo all the hard work that I've done with having my hair in a protective style. So you're just going to plait right down near enough the end. I tend not to plait right to the ends because it just feels it snags at the hair and that's the most delicate part of the hair. So what I tend to do, take the hair grease, and I just rub it on the ends and I twirl it around just to seal in that extra moisture and to prevent split ends. So I'm gonna carry on throughout the rest of my hair and I will leave my hair like this for about two to three weeks just because I know my hair has been cleansed, conditioned, detangled. There is really no need for me to go back in and do anything else other than apply the grease to my scalp maybe every other day and spritz where it's needed. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. What I would like to do finally, just to make sure, I like to get some hair grease. Just run it all down my strands. There you go. All done. So guys, for any of you that are interested, um, the amount of hair that I lost, I should say, the amount of hair that shedded in this whole wash day process was this much. Now, it may seem like a lot to some, but this is like a month's worth of hair. Is that a lot? I don't know. I don't know what you considered a lot, but to be fair, this is not scary to me. Anyway, guys, don't forget to check out my Amazon store where you can find all the products that I use in my video and then some. You can have a look now. Click the link down below. Click on my link tree, actually, because all my social medias, everything, my merch store, everything, you know, just, just about me all my things is on there so you can click there now have a look and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like so i am out and as i said it is lauren morgan okay <laughs> all right guys i'll see you in the next one bye